So I literally just finished recording doing a reaction. And what happens when I refresh the page? There's another one. And now we're a go. The situation got worse. Uh, Rev says Desu. Uh, it's just, it's only been an hour. It's only been an hour, dude. I just reacted to one of your videos. God damn it. And then there's another one from Kyo. At the same time, an hour ago, fucking Niji Sanji is doing it again. What the fuck's going on, man? What are you doing, Niji Sanji? What the fuck's going on, any colour? What's wrong with you? So let's take a look on this Rev says Desu video. Let's see what the crack is. Let's see what's going on. How did the situation get worse? So today we have some more drama involving Niji Sanji libraries, both present Here we go. and past. Now, yesterday I made a video going over some recent. There it is. There's one I literally just reacted and to. Did I know that a lot of the issues I talked about in that video would go much deeper over the past Damn. 24 hours, beginning with the AR live event. So this was something I covered in the video. I considered a pretty big win for Niji Sanji Ian, who is desperately looking for a win currently after a yeah, couple dude. fucking twenty three k views. Months. God knows and how many donations they got in super chats. Three D models that they used. During Even if it was concert, terrible, I said that they allegedly terrible. The best quality, but I also correctly predicted that in people's opinion, video, terrible. A lot of people would have their posts taken down with DMCA. Niji Sanji is DMCAing Sanji anyone exactly posting AI live Twitter. screenshots. That's understandable. YouTube, I am not quite sure. They literally said. Don't take screenshots and post it on the internet. Yet, but of course, you Look at him go. This app. <laughs> By the way, check out my rev to that previous video I was talking about. There was another tweet that I shared. It was a screenshot of this interaction right here. Is it the dream stuff that made it, the situation uh, get worse? Generate a lot of discussion. And I took this screenshot the night before, not even knowing later on. By the time I uploaded and went public, this tweet was deleted and there was a lot of other drama. So what happened? Yeah. She, Rima, Rima didn't know about something and she got like an out of context version of it. So she reacted to that. And then Kuro responded to it. And then she's been getting death threats ever since. Like, But she apologized and deleted the tweets straight away. Like as soon as he responded to it, she seen it, went, oh shit. Okay, so I've, I was in the wrong with this. Okay, I'll apologize and delete the tweets. That's what she did. And then she's been getting death threats ever since then. I honestly feel sorry for the poor horse girl. Well, basically, you have Kuro here from the, uh, the shoujo. He was, of course, responsible for Mr. Rios, and he graduated from Niji San. Just saying, Mr. Rios. Long ago, and in his tweet, fucking Americans with pronunciations. Sleepwalking or something, because apparently people heard my voice at a concert. Now, of course, he is referring to the AR live event where his former Mr. Rios. Uh, liver account model would make an appearance and his voice would make an appearance in that concert now that's not too surprising because the ar live event was originally supposed to be in 2023 when he was still a member of the agency yeah he got canceled due to covid concerns so it was once quote again unquote covid in 2024 and that was after his graduation i remember the tweets but he wasn't the only one to make an appearance and that was something pointed out by these speculations here so number one, right off the bat, I want to address this. So what Kuro is saying here is allowing people to make speculations. This is a vague tweet about a former account at a former agency that he used to be at, which is Niji Sanji, which, let's be honest, is a pretty controversial topic right now. And some people were... It pretty much has been since fucking January, dude. Concert and ...thinking, well, how did this all come about? Well, how even longer than that, now actually. Graduated uh, liver making an appearance in this concert so people were making some assumptions based on this vague tweet where rima would say nah they did not completely remove mista's voice from the concert so first of all this response would get a lot of uh criticism but yeah what she's saying right here this is factually correct they did not remove the voice it, it was included it was in fact now this the way it's phrased of course is implying something about Wait, so... Sanji, which again this tweet is so why did that why did that get deleted the history of niji sandra the past couple of months are you really shocked that people are calling into question some of their practices but Give in the my juice. video i highlighted this response because at the time i correctly assumed this is what was going on so it wasn't just mista that made an appearance it was also palmu and nina again all three of those had graduated and i said likely they consented to appearing in this concert and that seems like that was the case and the only former talent that was not included was Selene, which makes sense. She left the, the agency on bad terms, and it would make no sense for either party to want to be involved with this concert in 2024. 
And as we look at some clips from Enna, another Niji Sanji Ian Liver, this would pretty much confirm that these individuals were consenting to their appearance in this 2024 AR Live concert event. I'm happy that we could keep Nina's voice and Pomu's voice in it too. We asked, we personally asked staff. That's not Anna. Do you guys know how we didn't use any of the originals recordings for anything? We we had to sing. Obviously, it's a live version. So all of us had to sing every single song again. So there was the, there was an option to just sing the whole Etheria song. The whole Gatsi Soul. Three of us, but we're like, no. <laughs> And then Stavson was like, all right, let us check with the team. So, uh, we used a couple of other recordings that Nina, Nina So, left. the Ethereum so girls we were lazy cunts that didn't want to, thread, you know, racing it. Respond, beginning with this comment right here saying, Kuro is not suggesting that it was a mistake. He's just being a tease like always when it comes to his past, which seems pretty accurate. And then this user would say, what kind of weed did they put in your copium tank, bro? Where Kuro would respond to that saying, Coming from Mr. Kuro himself, how is this copium, sir? I don't know what point this original poster is trying to make, but it is so cringe to see me and others taken out of context to spin their own narrative to hate other entities or people. Now, there's a lot going on with this reply referring to the original poster, but I will say, number one, if you're afraid of people like spinning narratives on you and talking about you publicly, like that just comes with being an agency VTuber or a content creator in general. Even people like me have wild narratives being made up about them all the time. You don't even That's need to be a content creator this. and there's but somebody talking shit about you about, on the uh, internet. This whole thing being cringe, making stuff up. Taken out of context and, you know, spreading hate and all these things. Let's remind ourselves, this is the reply that he is referring to, that they did not completely remove Mista's voice from the concert. A factual statement that's that was implying that possibly Niji Sanji had some sort of a involvement in it, and they weren't really sure. But that's kind of what you get when you make a vague tweet like this, referring to your past life at another agency. Of course people are going to start making assumptions. That's part of being a public figure like this. It happens. Now, of course... A lot of people looked at some of the ways that this was handled and have reflected back on the termination of Selen. This is, of course, some more speculation, but I think it's a fair one based on what happened because in that concert event that we just saw, the AO Live, <sighs> we saw Niji Sanji get the permission of former livers to have these music or this concert go live. Now, think back in December when the last cup of coffee music video that Selen briefly had up was taken down. Copyright was one of the reasons cited, and that had yeah. to do with so what did. presumably was Not being rude when yawned like was that. that there was background livers, former livers from Niji Sanji that they didn't have the rights to. And now that leads to the question, why was that not okay in that situation? How did they not figure it out in that situation? But how did they figure it out for this concert event? Is this something bigger than the people just directly involved? Did Niji Sanji get involved? We don't really know, but it raises some interesting questions about that whole situation. But returning to this, we would see Rima actually reply by saying, Oh my God, then I completely misunderstood what you meant by this. My bad, I'll take down the post. Which, I'll be honest with you, uh, doing this for a long time, trying to apologize in context like this, it's just not going to work. Like, it's not going to work. I don't blame her at all for deleting the tweet, but, like, you can see, like, the 50 likes, 100-plus quote retweets. Like, she's getting attacked by multiple fan bases who see this as some kind of a weakness because they are backing down. I mean, I wouldn't uh, say deleting the tweet was a bad idea if you think you misunderstood, but, I, honestly, I would add in the context that in this situation, it was a vague post and someone was making an interpretation based on it. But of course, it wouldn't end there. So then Kuro would go on his second account, his alternate account, and then tweet more about this situation, saying, like, is the VTuber community completely cooked in the brain or what? Bro, I'm in such a bad mood right now. Like, drama farmers are actual cancer, as he talks about drama on his alternate account. And then he makes this long post saying this. And I, I have some Damn, holy to say shit. about this. So it says, I think the most frustrating thing for me is how much shit Fucking I've paragraph. gotten over the years but when i looked at these literal randoms who advocate for someone they believe is right they are nine thousand times more dedicated toxic and arrogant to ever change their opinions and honestly i agree with this section i have seen some of the things that he was canceled for when he was mr rios and i thought they were absolutely ridiculous and i, I defended him in several videos 
because they try to cancel him over the I tried canceling him. Attack, I didn't know that. Stupid things ever. People were just looking for a reason. And again, I didn't watch him much because he was annoying. Was pretty cringe in most cases. And down here he says, no, 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 it just annoying. makes me think. Because he's funny most, he's very entertaining. To apologize or try to be a better person. People realize the only way they're going to get traction is to drama farm into bandwagon, whatever opinion is popular at the time, and switch whenever the general consensus has changed. Like, look at yourself. Look at your Twitter profile. Honestly, so embarrassing. There's a difference between having an opinion and pushing your delusions to become real by manipulating anything. You can fit your narrative and neglect other things that would support the other parties. Ain't no way, bruh. So right here, obviously, I think it's very clear he doesn't like people covering drama content. And that's probably part of the reason why he responded to Rima in the first place, because she talks about drama content. But again, he is in a position where he's in like the spotlight, where he gets a lot of shit and then for he makes a post about anything and everything that he does. Big posts about drama on here, generating more drama and speculation on what he's talking about down here, because he's clearly referencing some sort of an issue he has with X, Y, and Z. And people are basically filling in the gaps, which is, of course, speculation and fueling more drama. And for someone who's saying that they hate drama farming so much, they're literally doing that. In fact, yeah, they would go onto bit. their stream later that night and then talk about it in the last half an hour multiple times. They would talk about this situation going on with the Rima tweet and related drama. And like, yeah, shit still happens now, but it's like, at least, you know, the most recent thing that happened to me was genuinely just me being a fucking idiot. At least it wasn't just me like someone taking shit out of context and making it blow up just because I'm in a company, you know? Like, fuck, dude. And I'm not trying to I mean, throw shade, so don't fuck If you say something without context, then obviously people are going to try and fill in the context with whatever it is that they think it is. And then that's where the narrative goes. So it's kind of both people's fault, really. Fucking get your drama tuber bullshit out of context clips bullshit fucking cringe lord little piece of shit okay all right i know you need to make some money off other people's fucking misery so just chill out for a sec okay i'm not trying to fucking throw shade i'm just reminiscing he says after he throws shade so i think looking at the situation as a whole you have a situation where mr rios makes an appearance in the 2024 ar live concert event then Kuro makes a vague tweet about the situation. People speculate based on that context as to what's going on. And then he responds, calling all these things cringe and drama bait. And then he goes on to his personal account and tweets more about it. And then goes on stream and talks more about the drama. Like, if you're so against all this drama, you're doing it yourself. And like I said earlier, I understand why people would respond to these things in the first place. If you're a content creator and you've been around long enough, you've definitely had people make wild speculations about you and try to argue with you or frame things in a way that doesn't make sense or take things out of context. The crazy thing for me on all this is like, well, obviously, you know, because he's, he's, he's commenting about it, but he's not saying, he's not giving enough information. So it's making it an out of context complaint, which is causing the drama and stuff. And then people are speculating and all that bullshit. But the fact that he's like, he, he writ that huge fucking paragraph, that vague paragraph. Like if that was me and I wrote this huge paragraph, just complaining, like I would be halfway writing that and be like, what the fuck am I doing? Why am I doing this? What is the point? And then I just like <laughs> delete the entire thing. But that's me. Maybe I just have common sense. But if you're going to reply, don't act like, you know, you can say drama's cringe and that people who do X, Y, and Z are bad, but then do it yourself. Even if it's in defense, you're participating in all of this stuff and you're making the drama. And if it is because of the horse girl, bro, she's living rent free in his head. What's the fuss? You know, claim you don't like to it see. is what it is. That's just don't worry about how it. things go when you're an agency VTuber and you get involved in this stuff. Just keep just on keeping on. Even more drama filled. But that's not really too surprising. But for now, that's going to do it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed. As always, feel free to share your thoughts about today's topics in the comment section down below. And I'll see you guys next time. So the crazy stuff that's going on, the situation getting worse is basically someone who has probably been bustling it all up. And then he did a tweet that was vague. Somebody took it out of context. Well, they tried to fill in the context, state in a fact. Shit got wild. He kept on going on about it even though he doesn't want people to go on about it but what does he do he goes on about it 
and he complains, 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 creating more drama, even though he doesn't like the drama, but he's creating more drama by doing just that, you know? I think, I think Brian, Terrorizer, he's a great example of this with all the shit that was going on around him and him being dragged into stuff and he he just stayed quiet, didn't say anything, didn't do fucking tweaks and he just let it be. He just didn't interact with it. He just, I know he, he talked about it a little bit but that was when it just got to the point where he was, it was during a live stream and people was going on and on and on and on and, on and it couldn't be helped but he stated the facts. He said the full information, right? He didn't keep it vague. He said his sentences clear. He spoke the truth. And then he moved on with his fucking life, man. He carried on about his day. And that's... I, I think that's... I think I think Brian's just a, a great example of that kind of stuff. So... But, yeah. I don't really know what to... I don't really know what else to say about this, you know? It's just wild. Wild stuff going on. These streets are rough. <laughs> if you enjoyed this video, like... Leave a comment on what you think. Or what you want me to react to next subscribe it's free and i'll see you in the next one